What if I stop my church going? What if I heed your words? What if I invested in the seeds you were sowing and I just left them for the birds? I'd be your disciple. I'd actually be in your religion. And then we'd both be stuck in this life of contradiction. So let me back up for a moment or two. Let me speak my mind until I'm done. Let me speak the truth to you. Let's take religion 101. Before you open armed, I cry. Don't be alarmed by this cassock. I will explain, at least I'll try. I could see it could cause havoc. Look at this black. Yeah, we are born to die. And when you strip away a layer, Jesus lives inside. Now don't be scandalized by our churches. Every family needs a home, for in them our soul searches, and then it flies through the dome. I fear religion is a sad result of American individualism. Live alone and not in a cult? Nothing but a false criticism. Sitting by the well, Jesus said, I bring the good news. Was it that religion was dead? No, but salvation comes from the Jews. The Last Supper was the Passover. The apostles knew what to do. And then you got Pentecost, and yeah, that's Jewish too. Jesus didn't abolish religion, he just made it new. His whole life was Jewish, his mother Mary was too. If you went to church all night nice on Sunday with fake people like myself, then live different on Monday, it's not religion, it's something else. Now about that individualism, I would simply say, no man is an island, not in Jesus anyway. The church is an ocean, give her due courtesy. Consecration is not some potion, it's all about divine mercy. So set out into the deep, don't think you'll float. Your soul will fall asleep if you don't get into the boat. We call her the Ark of Peter, the rock and sacrament of salvation. I hope you come to truly meet her in her fullness of adoration.